what's up divas and divos so you know it's me your girl april so today's real talk i'm trying to make it only two videos because um honestly i have had a long day i'm really not feeling that great um i've had a fever for like days um you know last week i did get my new teeth in which i'm like mm, you know and funny thing is not even funny okay because it's pissing me off but um thing is about these new teeth that's in my mouth okay let me tell y'all the day that i had to go and get my teeth shaved down okay i had to get them in the front shaved down not the front teeth but the two on the sides you know what i'm saying two on this side two on that side so the two on the left side um they needed to have a root canal so they have took the root out and they built the tooth back up you know with their stuff whatever they and they shaved it down so they look like little tiny sharp teeth like my husband says the tooth on the right side this didn't need a root canal but it was on the verge of like going um like not going bad but it didn't need a root it did not need a root canal but it seemed like they said it was decaying because it had a cavity that the dentist prior to them had filled and he did like a horrible job on it. So I had to get a crown put over it. So they had to shave that down too. But it still had the roots. So once they shaved my teeth down and I had to wear temporary teeth like, you know, for like two and a half weeks, like about two days after they put the temporary teeth on me. It's, they, they look like teeth, but they're not as nice as teeth. I started getting like these bad toothaches on this side, you know what I'm saying? So I thought it was the two broken teeth that was on the right side that needed to come out. You know, I was getting these bad toothaches. It was throbbing all inside of my face. So when I went in last Tuesday to get my new teeth put in, I let them know you can take out the broken teeth now because I'm having like this bad pain from them. So they took those two out, you know, and they were right by each other in the back, the molars or whatever you want to call them. And I got stitches and stuff, and then they put in my new teeth. So, like, two days later, um, after I got my new teeth put in, um, it wasn't even two days later. It was, like, the next day, Wednesday, my teeth were killing me. Like, I still was getting, like, that bad toothache, like that throbbing toothache, okay? And I'm like, well, maybe it's because the ones that just were pulled out probably still sore, and that's probably, like, what it feels like. You know, I don't know. Let me tell y'all, it got so bad that Friday I had to go back because I started rubbing my tongue over one of my own teeth on this side because I do have my own teeth over here, too. And I felt like this jagged shit on the back of my tooth. But every time I would rub my tongue over it from the back, I would get, like, this bad chills and this bad, like, this pain going through me. So I go to the dentist, long story short, and she's like, there's extra filling on that tooth, on my own natural tooth that they filled. I said, so that's making my head hurt like this? Like, this is giving me a toothache? And the dentist is like, yeah, it can. So she took the, the little hook thing that they have, and she started scraping it down. And I accidentally took some of it out. So they put, like, a gloss over it until my next visit. Well, they did some new x-rays. And let me tell you. The tooth that they just put in my mouth, like one of my new teeth, had caught, got, got an infection and now looks like it's suspect to need a root canal. I was like, what do you mean suspect? Because you ain't proven guilty. It's, you ain't proven I'm guilty or you, whatever you call that shit. You know what I'm saying? I said, you innocent until you proven guilty. How are you going to say suspect? I said, there have been a lot of suspects that have been that haven't been guilty. You know, so they was like, no, it's a, um, it's a, you need a root canal. So, you know me, I'm like, well, why would you put my tooth on and knowing that I need a root canal? Because the week that you were sawing down my teeth, shaving down my teeth, you had to do an x-ray. Y'all didn't see that then? They didn't see that then. It wasn't there. So, I have been in so much pain, I've had to take a medication, antibiotics, and another pain medication. They talking about, well, you should, um, we, we wanna, want you to come in so you can get some Percocet, because my appointment ain't until tomorrow. When y'all see this, this is be the day I'm back in there to get my fucking root canal now. 
I'm like, I'm not coming all the way out there driving 30 minutes for no Percocet. Not only that, but if y'all was around the corner, I don't want no fucking Percocet. I'm, I'm going to be cool with the shit that y'all done gave me. I'm, I don't fuck with no Percocet. I don't want to be part of that shit. Like, no thank you. But the thing that pisses me off is like, y'all didn't see that when y'all were shaving my teeth down at... But me personally, if you shave somebody's tooth all the way down, you might as well take the motherfucking nerve out of it because if you don't, what's the person gonna do with that little tiny shark tooth? Like, you might as well, to me, that's like a waste of time. Like, if you're gonna shave somebody's tooth down to a little tiny rice grain, you might as well take the motherfucking nerve out of it because that little tiny rice grain of a tooth is not gonna do anything for you. I mean, like, seriously, it's not gonna do anything for you. And hopefully, I remember and I'll put a picture in so you guys can see what it looks like. Like, it looks like nothing. Like, so for you to shave it down to a little tiny rice grain, you might as well remove the nerve because you're gonna put over, you're gonna put a crown over it. So you might as well just deaden the whole tooth. That's, that's, me that's my input but you know whatever so i have been so sick and i i mean like listen my teeth are not in the best shape ever but it seems like um this has been the worst toothache i've ever had i've had plenty of them and this has been the extreme like it took the cake and i really thought that i was gonna die because you know when you have a mouth infection you can definitely die from that and I was so upset with them Friday when she sent me home after digging that, that fucking extra filling off my tooth and then finding the new issue that, you know, the varnish that she put over my tooth in the back, that shit came off like the next day so I could feel that little tiny hole. Like, you know what I'm saying? And like Saturday and Sunday, I was in excruciating pain to where I couldn't even do anything. Like literally, I could not record any videos and I still feel like that, like groggy and out of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, to this morning, I had like a fever. It's not like cool. Like if you have a dentist, then make sure if you go to the dentist. Like even if it's like to a county dentist, go get your teeth done because that shit is no joke. And like now I'm kind of pissed off because you have to drill in the back of my new motherfucking teeth to do a root canal. Like, um, bitch, these my new, this my new tooth. You think I want a hole in the back of that shit? This is like, you know what I'm saying? But not only that, it's like, you know, I feel like this is not their fault, but it seems like whatever I have done to a tooth, it makes the tooth worse. So like when I get fillings done, Okay, it seems like whatever feelings that I get done, my tooth gets traumatized and I end up needing a root canal. And this is nobody's fault, but um, just my teeth, like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know what the issue is with, but as soon as I get a feeling, I end up needing a root canal because my teeth end up catching like an infection or whatever. And from them shaving my tooth down, it gave me an infection in the mouth and now they got to give me a root canal in this tooth. It seems like it gets traumatized. And what's so crazy about it is this tooth did have a filling on it and the dentist that did it, he did a surface filling and he fucked it up. Not the dentist that I go to prior, but the one before that. That's the reason why I had to get a crown on it. And he's probably the reason why my tooth is jacked the fuck up right there. Either way, I'm going to get my paperwork in order because this motherfucker is not going to get away with the way he done traumatized my teeth. Like, I'm not saying my teeth was in 100% best health, but I did take care of them what the, I did have, you know what I'm saying? And it just really, really sucks because I have been through a lot. And I'm, I'm telling you guys, like, this has not been, like, a really good week for me at all. Um... I just really want to just take a vacation and relax. I have been so tired. I really didn't even want to do real talk today. I really didn't even want to do any videos today, but I got the the um the strength to do them because I needed them done. But let me tell y'all something. It is it's no fun. It's really really no fun. But anyway, we're going to get into this real talk because I really have another video to do which I really want to get that done. Um the hair that I'm wearing is actually from I don't really know how to say it. it's rule you r u i y u and it's a 360 um i showed a video of how i blow dry my wigs to install them to wear them in a ponytail so i mean like i don't know what i'm gonna put this video up but if you guys want to see it really soon then just like leave the comments below but we're gonna get into this real talk really really quick so if you guys want a real talk video about yourselves you can definitely leave me an email to muffin is my lovers 2012 at gmail.com make sure to put in the subject line real talk and if you want to change the names of of the people in your video um you can definitely go ahead and do so um and just let me know hey April, i change the names etc etc so and also my shirts isn't it cute like hello it's really really cute it didn't come like this actually i ended up cutting the collar off and cutting it a little bit wider on the top this was actually available at savers i bought this like a minute ago and actually forgot that it was in my drawer 
was $4.99. Half of that was $2.50. Um, I bought it when my mom was here, and my mom was like, why are you buying that? That's, like, really lame. That's played out. And I was like, what's played out? She's like, nobody walks around wearing shirts and say, I love New York. Like, hello, mommy. You don't even know if I have trend. So anyway, yes, you guys, I like the hair like this. It's really, really cute. Um, the baby hairs are not um, pasted down because I didn't want them pasted down. They just like little bit of wispies and stuff because, you know, at first they start off pasted down, but then I pull them up and brush them out because that's just the only way that I can do it and make the hairs look really, really cool. So that's just the way that I could do it, you know what I'm saying? But I should have put my ponytail up a little bit more, but... Um, like up here, but whatever. I don't really like my ponytail up that high anyway because I already have a long head. So, yes, you guys. Well, let's get into this real talk. Okay. Hey, April. Names are, uh, if names are needed, I have already changed them. So Jasmine used to live next door. The, the, the name of the email is Real Talk Annoying Ass Friend. Hey, April, if names are needed, I have already changed them. So Jasmine used to live next door to me, but we just waved at each other. She moved and ended up finding me on Facebook a couple months after that. I thought, cool, we could be friends. I regret it so much. She is so annoying. She writes me all day asking me what I'm doing, and when I reply, she just says, okay. We hung out a couple of times, and I just didn't think we had vibes. I have tried to slowly let this friendship fade away, but she won't leave me alone. I have been ignoring her for almost a month, and she can clearly see I'm reading her messages, yet she keeps writing me. She has now started to write my best friend, but my bestie has ignored her. She just does not take hints. She has friends and a man, so I don't know what her problem is. I'm kind of like you when it comes to friendships. I'm very low-key and hate to be annoyed. The two times we did hang out, she made live videos, snapped, called her boyfriend on speaker, and took 100 selfies. I just didn't enjoy her company. I almost cursed her out when she wrote me again about, but a part of me thinks she maybe is a little slow. What would you do? Is there a nice way to say, just I just don't want to be friends and leave me the fuck alone? Oh, yeah, and the two times she did hang out with me, I had to kick her out of my home. I had to ask her to please leave because I was tired. It was almost 3 in the morning. <laughs> okay, so my girl here, we're going to call her um, Emily. Emily used to be neighbors with Jasmine, who used to live next door, but Jasmine done moved away. She ain't moved too far. She just moved, and they ended up being friends on Facebook. But when they used to live next door, they would just say hi. You know, like, hi and bye, and just keep it pushing. Now, when Jasmine asked, moved, you know, somewhere else in the town, she found out Emily's Facebook, and Facebook friend her, and they became friends, and shit. She's always messaging her, what you doing? Uh, okay, all day long. And not only that, but she hung out with her twice, and the girl seems to be annoying like she took all these selfies she snapchat and let me tell y'all and she don't want to be her friend let me tell y'all okay so i don't really know how to get rid of friends okay maybe i do because i will just end up being like a jerk however i don't think everybody should end up being a jerk but you guys remember that girl that i went to um vegas with at last like was it march or april i don't remember when exactly but you guys remember that girl that i went to um um, Vegas with and she lives around the corner for me not really around the corner but in, in the vicinity what was her name it started with an M um Marlou Mar Marla uh, Marilyn it was something like that um and she was so annoying because she was on snapchat live she was on instagram live she was calling me her best friend she was acting a little bit weird you know she would send me all kind of text messages and shit and you know I just stopped ignoring her. However, she also knew Monroe was her name. She also knew who I was and she would watch my videos. So I know that she watched a few of my real talks. I'm not sure how often she watched them. So I'm not really sure if she watched my real talk and realized that I didn't want to be bothered with her because I spoke about the trip and how I was just so annoyed with her. Like it was the worst trip ever. Like I can't be bothered with people too much. And then when you start annoying me and you you live chatting on Instagram like oh I'm here with muffins and all that shit like don't do that because for me I'm a very like can you just not do shit like that because I don't know your father
followers and I don't even want to be on your Instagram right now and she just was too clingy for one like I don't really like that clingy shit um, especially if I just met you and for two like I just really felt like out of place with her her attitude and my attitude were totally different like so we I wasn't vibing with her like that she just was a little weird and plus when I was when I was driving to Vegas with her and her mother in her car her mother's having the holy ghost in the back of the car you know what I'm saying going into holy ghost and then I'm breaking up a fight at her family's house as soon as I get there like you know what I'm saying it was it was a weird trip okay it was like something like oh my god I, I was ready to take an uber or a lift all the way back from where we was at where we dropped her mother off at in Arizona to where I lived in Arizona because it was three hours away I would have took let, let me tell you something it was the worst trip ever I could not believe when we was going home that we went to pick up her mother from their family members house and her mother had had the husband and wife start an argument with each other and we had to go in there and break it up and like it was just like this long overdue thing it was like three three and a half four hours that I was in their house and I just wanted to fucking go home and oh my god I was so irritated you know I was already irritated by by Monroe and I already had to let her know about herself through the trip and then just to be you know now with your mother and your mother's catching the Holy Ghost and like who the heck has the Holy Ghost in the back seat of a car like it was just a weird trip and I'm not sure if she realized that I don't want to be her friend anymore because, you know, she texted me a few times after that and my response was really vague. It was very short. It was like very dry. And I'm pretty sure she might have gotten the, aunt, the, the message through that, but I'm not really sure if she did because um, she might have watched my video and said how I had a horrible time with her and I didn't like her and she's a weirdo and whatever whatever so she was just simply weird but when I have people that I don't really want to be friends with because I find out that they're like a little bit different or just a little bit touched or just a little bit strange I just don't fuck with them you know sometimes you just have to be really like blunt with people because if you if you keep beating around the bush to a person they'll never get the shit like dead ass serious they will not understand that you just don't want to be their motherfucking friend you could just ditch them and not answer their calls or the text messages or the door and they still will not get it so me personally i would just be like listen you know what you're a really nice person but me and you don't have anything in common and and you could say it nice I mean hey some people just don't get that but I would just be like you know if, if I were you because if it were me I would just probably make a video about it but if I were you because we don't always want to go around hurting people's feelings you know what I'm saying like that's not what we supposed to do because I know if it were me I wouldn't want you to hurt my feelings but there are certain ways to get rid of people that you just don't want to fuck with like you could just ignore them totally yeah I get it they won't get the message after a while they will keep messaging you and keep calling you what you would do in this case is you block them you block them from leaving you messages you block them from calling you and you just don't pay them any attention or you know you don't block them and you just constantly don't respond you don't answer you don't respond now I'm not saying that this goes for everybody but if you really don't want to fuck with the person that's one thing and that's just one way that you can handle it you could just basically be like you know I'm just not going to answer decline and eventually the person will feel like well all this bitch do is never answer so I'm not going to call her anymore okay who knows how long it might take Jasmine to get that but Emily here's my thing or you could just be woman enough and just be like you know something Jasmine you're a really nice person but I have a lot on my plate right now and I really just don't see that you and I are on the same vibing level like you know I have a lot to do so you know I really just want to just focus on the things that I need to take care of um you know if I see you around we can always speak but right now I'm not really in the need for friendship with anyone because I have a lot on my plate I mean I really don't know how to break up with a friend that you just don't want to be bothered and then when you think about it you guys are really not even friends you guys are really not even friends you are more or less associates because you can't consider everybody to be your motherfucking friend okay what I would tell that bitch listen please stop calling my phone and messaging me because if you see that I'm not messaging you back that's because I don't want to be bothered it's nothing against you really but I'm not the type of person that has a lot of friends and I have my small circle and me and you my, my vibes and your vibes are totally different so I just would prefer that we just remain associates a hello and goodbye that's how I would end that shit what you gonna do get mad like bitch I told you we don't want to be friends like I don't know. 
that's how I would do like you and I not unity no it's not a UNITY no honey no we not that sometimes you just got to be blunt with the person instead of beating around the bush because some people just don't get it and obviously she just doesn't get it because she keeps emailing me. and I tell you what I do not like annoying ass friends that's why I'm, I'm happy the friends that I do have which is my um, bestie Rebecca then love kids 99 and my other bestie um, Shay Michelle love they are not annoying and they I think they know we're not that I'm not that type of I don't know I, I stay in a shell like I like you guys know me I'm just like a loner and not really a loner but I'm just very secluded and I'm I don't know I'm the type of person that just I'll be bothered with you when I be wanting to be bothered with you which sucks but you know I'm very like antisocial sometimes so and it's nothing against people it's just that's how I am like you know I'm like over introverted and that really sucks but that's just me and I'm I don't know when I'm gonna come out of my shell but maybe one day I definitely will but I love my three friends that I have and I'm glad that um, they're so understanding and they don't get offended if I don't call them for a while or answer because I think if you know me, you know my personality, which really sucks. And especially if I'm really, really busy, then I won't like return a call right away. But, you know, um, I just can't take annoying friends. And that's why me and Monroe, me and her, we did not click. Like she seemed really nice the first few days that I hung out with her. But she started getting very clingy and I started getting annoyed. And I really didn't want to go with her. And my daughter was like, no, you should go, you should go, you should go. Get out the house. But no. I never will take advice from a... I'm, I'm not going to go take advice from my daughters anymore. Because if I don't want to go, I'm just not going to go. There's a reason why I don't want to go. There's a reason. Yes. So, honey, I would just basically tell her, like, look, um, girl... You know, me and you are on two different levels in life. I have a lot going on. I'm not even that type of person that wouldn't likes to have a lot of friends in my circle. I have a very small circle, and I just feel like me and you should more or less stay as associates, you know, high and by. I would really prefer you to not message me all the time because I'm really not into that kind of stuff. No disrespect or anything against you, but, you know, I just, I'm just very much a person that keeps to herself. And the bitch should not say nothing else after that. So we're going to move on to the next real talk. So this one is basically a long, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Hi, first of all, I'd like to say that I love your channel and I always watch all your real talks. You have one of the best YouTube channels and it is very helpful and entertaining to watch. I will include fake names in this email. You can call me Nikki and him Mark. By the way, this is going to be a long one. Well, thanks, Nikki. I could tell. But thank you for the big font because I cannot stand when they be writing it all small, okay? I started dating a man about seven years ago. I was 27 at the time and he was 36. Um, we met on a dating website. At first we got along but there were some real f red flags, okay? I really wanted to be in a relationship so I tried to make it work. After a few weeks, I asked him how many kids he had and he told me he had eight children with four different baby mothers. I was very surprised, but he told me he was married to one of them for about 10 years and they have five kids together. Anyways, I overlooked that and I continued to date him. However, at the time, he had an eight-month-old baby girl and was still involved with his baby mother. I knew this because I'd call him sometimes and she would be yelling in the background telling him to get off the phone and stuff like that. He called me back and convinced me that they were not together and he wanted to continue seeing me. So I fell for it, and at the time I really wanted a baby because I thought that I could not have one. Reason being, I had gotten chlamydia in the past. So out of loneliness and fear of not being able to have children, I kept seeing him. Throughout this time, I met his other kids, friends, and family members. We would all go out from time to time, ups and, and a lot of downs, but there was always other women cheating and baby mama drama. Fast forward, I finally got pregnant with a baby boy. He is now four years old, but when I got pregnant, he had also gotten another woman pregnant at the same time. Also a little boy. There are, they are now both four years old. I was so hurt the day I, that he told me he had gotten another girl pregnant. I tried to ignore him throughout the majority of my pregnancy. He did help me with buying the crib and other baby items, but I'm sure he did the same with the other woman too. I tried to make the best of it and told him that I did not want to hear about the other woman or their child ever. So I kept seeing him on and off again. 
There were ups and a lot of downs, pain, embarrassments, and heartaches. There are so many stories and dramas I could make a series. Also, at some point, he gave me an STD. I know I was stupid for continuing to have sex with him, but I wanted my son to have a sibling, and I wasn't seeing anyone else at the time. Yeah, I know. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Also, for the most part, she and the child were not in our life as far as I was concerned. As he and the child, also for the most part, she and the child were not in our life as far as, far as I was concerned. Except for the occasional time when he did have her, their baby and his other children at his place for New Year's. And prior to that, me and ours for Christmas. You know, vice versa, like what the fuck? That caused a big ass issue for me. He was very rude to me saying to consider him a sperm donor and more insults. Mind you, when this happened, I was pregnant again by him about six months along. I just found it very, I just find it very embarrassing and a shame that he would have another baby at the same time as me. And obviously everyone would know about that being that they are the same age. After this incident, I did not speak to him for about a month and then he contacted me and tried to make it work being that I had one and a half year old being that I had a one and a half year old with him pregnant and a single mom I knew deep in my heart that he was an asshole and asshole and he would probably never be faithful or the kind of man I would want to truly be with he does have his good sides like spending time with the kids helping me out with cash from time to time taking our kids his kids and I to Jamaica last year he even paid for my breast implants a few months ago but I am not trying to share a man with anybody nor will I continue to submit to him you should know as a result you should know as a result we argue a lot mostly because I don't trust him he doesn't want to marry and stop seeing other women obviously and he can be very rude and disrespectful in the back of my mind I knew at that some point this child would refuse resurface and come back into his life and that I would have to leave him permanently knowing that I would never accept it even though the child is innocent and even though they are exactly the same age. Recently I read his text messages on his cell by saying to one of his baby mother when are you coming over to blow me and to take plan B. A few weeks later I say to him I say to him a few weeks later I say I see him texting escorts for a sex for sex at a hotel too. At this point, I have stopped having sex with him. I feel like, fuck it. I don't want him anymore. The feelings are all gone, and I'm ready to move on. And once and for all, I am now 34, and he is 43. And if it wasn't for the fact that I have a 4-year-old and a 2-year-old with him, I would just block him permanently and never look back. A few days ago, I brought our little boy over to his place on Sunday. He told me to drop them off rudely and with a harsh tone. I went in with them, and the other child and his older brother, not my baby father, were there. Out of anger, I started arguing with him and things got out of hand. We called each other names and I cussed him out telling him he is the worst guy I have ever been with so on and so forth. Too bad this had to take me. Too bad this had to take place in front of some of the kids. When I asked him for money he now says he is broke and if I want money sue him for child support. I don't know how to handle this. I don't want to be constantly reminded of what he did to me and the hurt and pain that comes with it each time I see this child, the other child that is four years old, and my children are too young to go see him on their own. I have asked him to come pick up our kids and drop them off so that I do not have to deal with seeing the other kid anymore and with any of it. On the other hand, I'm thinking just cut him off, never look back, Bet better to have one parent that is mentally and emotionally strong, that is mentally and emotionally strong as a result of cutting off their father. I just want my children to be safe and happy. My father passed away when I was a baby and it would be nice for my children to have a father in their life. But I too need to be happy. What should I do? Am I doing the right thing? Any advice on this would be great. Thanks. Okay, first of all, she sent me a picture and she is so cute and she and her babies is so cute too. I don't really understand what she see in his ass because for real honey this nigga look like a homeless fucking bum what do you look like a hobo like are you serious are you dating a hobo now so you are having children with a motherfucking hobo because to me he looks like a hobo I mean like I can't be judging people's mans but from the picture she sent me he looks like a hobo and I wonder why because he already told her when they first met that he had how many children he had eight kids when they first met, okay? So Nikki and Mark. Nikki met Mark and he had eight kids. She felt like she couldn't have no kids because she had chlamydia. First of all, sweetheart, I wouldn't give a fuck if I couldn't have any kids. I wouldn't want to try to have children with somebody that has eight kids. And then on top of that, 
when you call in him, he's living with his baby mama and she in the background yelling and shit. But you, he telling you that, oh, it's nothing going on. They're not together, etc., etc. What motherfucking idiot falls for some dumb shit like that? Like, like, let's be for real. If you was calling some dude and his baby mama was living with him or vice versa or they living together and she in the back background, why the fuck would you want to continue to, to see him? Like, are you that desperate for a relationship and dick and dick? Like, seriously? And on top of that, if you want to choose to have children, why would you want to have it with somebody with, that has eight children like what sense does that make this nigga got eight kids and you want to have a baby so you choose him out of all dickheads and dicks in the world to fucking sleep with and ride on top of so y'all can have a baby together not just one but two now we should never have never feel like our children were a mistake however sweetheart if you knew that he was already living with somebody and he had a girl why the fuck would you want to fuck with him in the first place you disrespected yourself. You played your motherfucking self, okay? He got eight kids. This ain't the Duggars. And then on top of that, you feel like he disrespected you. He cheated on you. He played you because he had another kid with somebody at the same time that you had your first baby with him. Sweetheart, you already knew the stakes were high and the red flag was waving aboard, okay, when you started fucking with him from the get-go. So you cannot get mad with the next woman and not want their four-year-old around your four-year-old. Like, that's real petty. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so... Nikki don't like to go around. Nikki don't like the other four-year-old, basically. That's to my that that's what I'm feeling because when the other little four-year-old is around, she starts feeling some type of way. But you can't get mad at the fact that he got somebody else pregnant at the same time when you was pregnant because you already knew he was a motherfucking dirty dog. You already knew this. He had eight kids, okay? He had eight kids and a bunch of baby mamas, and he lived with his baby mama, and he was cheating on you and all kind of shit. So what did you get mad at? Who are you getting mad at? The only person that you should be mad at right about now, sweetheart, is Nikki. Then on top of that, you done caught an STD from him. That's nobody fault but yours because who told you to keep sleeping with this nigga? Like, seriously, y'all bitches be really bugging me the fuck out. Like, and I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to none of y'all, but on some real shit, My thing is this, why the fuck, why the fuck would you, okay, sleep with a dude that has eight kids and live with his girl? Like, honestly, that right there you would need an ass whipping for. Because if I was the baby mama and I knew you was calling my man and fucking with him and all this shit, girl, I would beat your ass. But then again, sometimes it's not even worth it because the dude ain't worth it. But, girlfriend, you got what you was asking for. In the long run, you got what you was asking for, Nikki. Like, seriously. For me, personally, okay, you made a mistake and had a baby, got pregnant with him. You didn't even make a mistake. You did this intentionally. You wanted to have a baby, and so this is what you did. Now you went for baby number two. Let me tell you something. Not all kids need siblings, okay? And if they do need siblings, what makes you feel like they got to have the same mother and father to have siblings? I got five kids and four baby daddies. What makes you think that they all have to have the same fucking father and, um, and shit? They got the same mother. They all live in this house except for the one. And they get along just fine and they take care of one another. When you meet a dickhead, sweetheart, you dump him and you move on, okay? I'm not saying move on to the next dickhead, but just move the fuck on. But no, sweetheart, you stayed and shit. And now you're getting mad because the four-year-old, the other four-year-old might be over at his house or he might be taking care of it. Girl, sweetheart, the only person that you can get mad with is yourself. You knew the nigga was cheating on you. Now, the other baby mama who had the little boy at the same age, at four, at the same time, you can't get mad with her neither because she might be in a worse predicament where she didn't know nothing about none of y'all. But you was a smart one. You kind of already knew. You you did know. You already knew. The red flag was waving. You already said that. And yet, and still, you still wanted to put your feet in this hot motherfucking lava and continue on fucking with the man. The hobo. The nigga look like a hobo because he got how many kids? He got eight before you met him. Then you gave him nine and ten. And then this other lady gave him eleven. And I think somebody else was pregnant again, twelve. Who even knows? This nigga could be like running a scam on all y'all bitches. And he probably got like 20 kids. Some over here, some over there. You know what I'm saying? And you talk about he, um, 
he's a good father because he spent time with his kids and then he, he helped you out from time to time with the cash and he helped you buy a crib. Bitch, this is not help. This is what's supposed to be motherfucking done. You act like nigga helping you buy a crib is helping you. That's his kid too. You act like because he give you some cash, he helping you. This is what y'all fail to realize. Just because the nigga watched the kid for you, don't say he babysitting. That's your kid, okay? He not helping you. He not helping you. Did he do what the fuck he's supposed to do? You don't get no kudos or no big daddy awards because you done gave some child support or bought a crib or a stroller or some shoes or some pants or some diapers or baby wipes or powder or took them to the doctor's appointment. You don't get no motherfucking big daddy awards for that. You don't get a fucking plaque for that. That's what the fuck you supposed to do. Don't nobody have to say thank you and don't nobody need to send me an email praising him talking about what well, he helped me out from time to time and he did help me buy a crib. No bitch, he should have bought the crib, okay? He the one who knocked your fucking ass up in the first place. When you already knew the red signs, the red flags, the chlamydia and all that shit was there. Let me tell y'all something, bitches. If a nigga had eight kids and I was fucking with him and I found out if the nigga had eight kids, I would change my motherfucking number or I would block his ass to where he would not be calling me. Nigga, you broke. You always gonna be motherfucking broke. You got eight kids. I don't need none of that drama. But you put yourself in that predicament. You stepped into the flames, sweetheart, and now you gonna burn. You know, like fucking Usher says... Burn, let it burn, let it burn. That's what your ass is doing right now. So now you have two beautiful little sons. And it's 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 not, you know what I'm saying? They are beautiful, but the relationship that you have with their father is not beautiful. And I, I'm not going to say that I feel bad for them because, you know what I'm saying? I don't, but, and then I do. But the thing is this, sweetheart. You should have been left him the fuck alone. You should not have kept messing with him and having all these children with him. And then catching feelings and attitudes. He is how he is. He's not about to change for you. So you think you are going to make him change because you have maybe nine and ten for him? Sweetheart, he had eight more before you. What the fuck make you think you so special that your motherfucking pussy is so goddamn good that he is going to drop everything he done did and marry your black ass? Let me tell you something. Once a dog, always a dog. And maybe not even so that, but the nigga got eight. He got like 11 kids now. The nigga looked like a hobo. He gonna stay looking like a hobo. And she worried about so she just leave him the fuck alone. Bitch, you should have been left him the fuck alone and moved on with your life. Why would you let a man fucking irritate your skin so much to the point where you don't even know how to function and you don't even know what to fucking do with yourself? You just let this man irritate your skin and fucking knock you up, but you wanted to get pregnant, so let me just back it up. But you... You getting mad? He already had eight children before yours. So you're going to get mad now that he got another four-year-old at the same time? Sweetheart, why would you even think you was the only one when you met him? You were speaking to him on the phone and he was living with his baby mama. Like, right? Um, right? I, I mean, like, you know. Hello? Hello? I mean, if that were me, and that was my baby mama, or uh, that was my man, and his baby mama was living with him, and they was arguing, get up the phone, get up the phone, come help me with the baby, I would just not be your girlfriend no more. I would just leave you the fuck alone. But, you know what? No disrespect, but some of y'all bitches be just too desperate for a relationship, and y'all just don't give a fuck. Y'all don't care. Y'all go for whatever they fucking tell y'all. Oh, we ain't together. We not really together. I just stay here because she need help with the baby and all of this shit, and like... What rock did you just fucking crawl up from underneath? A bitch, maybe you should crawl up from underneath the rock and get your two cents back up in here because you ain't even got zero cents up in your motherfucking dome piece. Like, listen, the children is real cute. You pretty too. But your man looks like he's homeless, sweetheart. And for real, for real, you need to continue and carry the fuck on. You talk about you gonna have to sue him to get some child support, sweetheart. How much you gonna get? He got 11 kids. He might have more than that because, you know, he had eight already. Then she gave him nine, ten, and the other little four-year-old. And I think there's another one. I don't even know. There probably is some more that nobody else knows about. What the fuck do I think you should do, sweetheart? Well, what you should have been done, did you didn't do it. So now, what I'm telling you to do, I mean, I don't really know if it makes any sense to you, but... Sweetheart, stop relying on this fucking man. He's not worried about you. He is a motherfucking hobo gigolo. Ho 
Bo Jingle The nigga will stick his dick in anywhere where he can. And I'm sorry, but if you got all these kids, you have to have skin. You, you just, you just nasty. You just, not even nasty, but you know what I'm saying? You just, sweetheart, let me tell you something. Love yourself first, okay? Love yourself. When you learn to love yourself and respect yourself and think highly of yourself, then you will realize that the shit that you just put yourself through for the past four or five years was not even necessary, okay? Not even. Now, you got these two beautiful little boys with this homeless hobo, okay? What you need to do is stop contacting him and stop praising him because he gives you a little cash here and there because that shit is what he's supposed to do. But what you need to do is to get your ducks in order or your basket, your eggs in order, or whatever they call that shit in the basket. Get your shit in order in general and get it together. Go to court and get you some child support and stop fucking with him, okay? There is like a million dicks out here in the world and you so worried about this one that looked like a homeless man and got like 12, 13, 14, 20 kids around the world that you don't even know about. Like, he's not even fucking handsome. I swear to you guys, if I was into showing people's photos, I would definitely show his because he looks like he's a hobo, all right? He's... Y'all would be like, girl, what? Like, he looks like he... Lay down with him and see if you don't come back with fleas again. Okay, Nikki? Like, dead ass serious. Get it together, sweetheart, and learn to love yourself. Because if you love yourself, I trust me and guarantee you, you will not be going through this foolishness with this man who don't give two fucks about you. I mean, yeah, he, he has his kids. He takes care of his kids, and he has them over. Well, what do these motherfucking do? I have my kids over every fucking day because they live here. You don't see me bragging about that on social media or anywhere talking about, yeah, I be taking care of my kids. Like, that's what the fuck you supposed to do, bitch. You, you, that's what you're supposed to do. Y'all be having it twisted, but you know what, Nikki? I think that you have probably finally come to your senses. I'm hoping so. And just learn that, you know what? You can do this without a man. That's great that you wanted to have kids, but you know what? Sometimes we have to think before we do shit. Like... Okay, I want a kid, but let's, it's not like you can always plan things, you know what I'm saying, shit happens. However, you planned this, and I feel like that was malicious, malicious. And on the fact that you already knew that he was living with somebody, you kind of got what you deserved. It's called karma, and you know, you continuously dabbled in the shit, so you actually got what you deserved. This is him, he's always going to be like a dog. When you first met him, you met his representative. And bitch, you really didn't even meet me his representative. You met who he was, and you still went with it. So, in all reality, it's nobody's fault but yours. You know what I'm saying? You wanted me to be honest with you, and I'm telling you, had, had you been my friend, I would have been like, you a stupid bitch, you a stupid hoe. You a stupid hoe, you a stupid hoe. That's what I would have told you. So, but you still might like, like my girl, be like this, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you like this, you stupid honey, mommy. Get it together. And let's move on to the next journey in life. So take care of those babies and stop worrying about him because he's not worried about you. And he's not worried about none body but himself and what's down here. And if he was really worried about that, he would stop sleeping around with everybody, put a condom on, and not give you an STD. But he gave you an STD and he still was fucking with him. So you guys, I hope that this real talk was enough for you guys because, you know, I do have to take my medication. I'm not feeling that great. I did have three, but the other one was really, really long and I didn't want to, I do want to read it, but I'm really not feeling that great. Plus, I got to get ready to go to bed. It's kind of late and I have to edit this and I got to get up and go to the dentist early in the morning. So, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay diva and diva delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, and I'll see you guys in the soon to come video.